everyone! Welcome to my channel. Happy Friday to everybody. I hope everyone had an amazing week and it, it continues to be amazing. So, technically this is a review, but it's a favorites review. So, these, so this is another review of my favorite films. However, these are films that are on passion flicks. Now, if you have followed me on my uh, Facebook page, uh, which I'll link down below, um, on my Facebook my blog page I actually talk about um, passion flicks. And I have talked about just one thing from passion flicks. But this is actually a one uh, that is a countdown. Now, Passionflix is a streaming site for books turned into movies, which is pretty good and everything. I mean, I, I love some of the movies that are on here, um, and some I kind of didn't like. So, you know, grab your wine, <laughs> grab your sushi, grab whatever it is that you're drinking or eating. I have coffee. So this list is going from eh to wow. <laughs> if the movie, if a movie isn't on here, it's just because I can't remember my feelings about it. So uh, that means I have to re, I have to rewatch them, which isn't a, which isn't a very big chore. No, because I love the fact that Patrick Flicks existed. So first up is the movie actor. Afterburn, Aftershock. Now, okay, sorry for those who love this movie, but I didn't like it. I, uh, I liked the storyline of Gia and Jax. Uh, there was nothing wrong with the direction of, uh, or the acting, but I felt like, I felt like the ending was flat. And I had so many, uh, I had so many questions after I had watched this, and it felt like an abrupt ending, and then that was it. And it, it left me with questions. Oh, it, when it le leaves me with questions, when a movie or a book leaves me with questions, which I don't like, um, I just go, "Oh my god!" So what happened in between here? What happened here? And what happened here? And I felt like Afterburn Aftershock did that with me. And you know, I, I never read the book. And now I'm wondering, would I feel the same way if I read the book? Next is Trouble with Mistletoe. So we have Christmas Story. Um, this isn't the first Christmas movie that's on here. There's a cut. There's like a couple of uh, short films and one other film, which to this day I still haven't watched, and I have to watch it. I've heard that it's really good. <laughs> so. Um, so it's a good concept. This movie, Trouble with Mistletoe, good concept. <clears throat> However, I felt like the ex execution wasn't there. Um, so again, same situation. This movie just fell flat for me, and I didn't like it too much. I No offense to the actors or anyone who worked on the film itself, but I needed something more. And... To me, that something more was just missing. On to Matchmaker's Playbook. So the movie matched really closely with the with the book. Um, so you know, gold star on that one. And I love loved Nick Bateman in this movie. I I know that he he has a lot of. Uh, uh, movie roles that he's done, like it, uh, it's, I know that there was a Christmas one that he had that's on Prime, and I know that there's um, another. I think he's got at least like maybe about four or five films. Feel free to correct me on that. But uh, there's even a short film that I liked of his where he plays Gambit, and that to me just like shows off his skills. <laughs> so with martial arts and everything like he's really good he's he's really good anyway um sorry back to this um so in this movie matchmakers playbook i had a few moments when i thought what the hell is going on here because some stuff didn't make sense i understand at this point that passion was only working with what they had or 
uh, or what they were allowed and everything so I won't be too harsh um, but you know what I mean if you watch this movie <laughs> so. next up is a brother's honor okay good-looking cast like for sure good-looking cast I don't have much critique for this one it was good uh, maybe something could have been tweaked a little bit to make me go yes uh, I did set up for the other uh, books and everything, uh, or the other books to be turned into movies, uh, but we will see when, when or if that'll happen. Gabriel's Inferno. Roll out my sleeves for this one. Okay, parts one through three were honestly worth it. Um, I don't remember how long it had been since I finished reading the book. It's It's been quite a long time. So when it was announced that they were going to turn this book into a film through Passion Flicks, I honestly was excited. Yeah. Um, I remembered the book was centered around these two people who were similar to Dante and Beatrice. You know, the cast of, the, of these three parts are a wonderful group. They're talented. Like, good movie, uh, or movies. Yeah, I, I mean, I haven't watched the first part of Gabriel's Rapture yet. I'm, uh, I'm honestly waiting for all the parts to be released so then I can actually just have a little uh, marathon for myself. Next is Driven and Fueled. Now, I had a video uh, that I mentioned on my blog uh, about how I feel about this series in general and this series to me is amazing. At this point Passion Flix was staying true to the books and I have pointed out that I love both Casey and Michael as Colton Donovan. Um, they both portray Colton in different ways and Olivia Applegate as Riley was so true to character so she absolutely did a great job it was just this one I was satisfied with and now we're waiting patiently for Crash. <laughs> Finally my favorite one is Wicked. Now I had to put this one at number one. This one wowed me because this was the first time, or the first one, that Passion Flix was using green screens and special effects um, that were just, you know, very noticeable. I know that they used, like, um, stuntmen and uh, a fight scene in one of their other, er, uh, in one other Passion Flix film, but this to me just wowed me. This one was the one that had wowed me. And the real, to me, I feel like the real rock star of this movie is the character Tink, who is portrayed by, who is portrayed by Andrew Rogers. And, you know, I love the book. I, Tink was my favorite character. And in the movie, uh, Andrew Rogers portrays him, and he just blows this out of the water. He is so good as Tink. Um, his scenes to me were the best, or are the best. Like, I mean, I love Liam Hall scenes too, I mean, duh. <laughs> but, and because he's amazing too. But there was just something about this movie that was just so magical, uh, to be the exact word. And that's the reason why it's number one. And, yeah, I mean, everything from the direction to the production to the staying true to the book to uh to who uh, to who was portraying who basically everyone portrayed their character to a t they were so good at portraying everyone which i was so happy about and i'm so excited to see the next one uh, which brings me to say that I have other movies that I'm looking forward for them to be filming and then releasing onto Passion Flix. So I'm waiting patiently for the release of Royally Screwed, um, Crashed, 
which again, that's not until I believe May. Uh, I could be wrong, but that was the last time I heard, so feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, I'm so excited to see Torn. I know that today is, the, uh, well, as I'm, uh, the day that I'm filming this is their day one, so uh, I'm lo really looking forward to seeing this movie whenever it comes out. And Come Away With Me and Easy Love. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, those two films on Passion uh, or those two books turn into Passion Flix movies. I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, you guys, so that's it for me. I know this video was uh, pretty short, uh, but that's okay. So thank you for watching. Well, I will see you in the next uh, video.